Why did you get it so big? A, that's what she said. Does the skin look red and swollen? That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. Eat it, eat it, Phyllis. Dip it in the water so it'll slide down your gullet more easily. That's what she said. said. Oh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> Just come on, you guys, let's do it. I need two men on this. That's what she said. No time, but she did. No time! Okay, you know what? I want you to think about your future at this company. I want you to think about it long and hard. That's what she said. I'll be your first customer! But you're hardly my first. That's what she said! That's what she said. That's what who said. I never know. Let her just say it. I can't believe you came. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Santiago, I know that you hate Halloween, but stick with me and I promise you, you will love it. Can you magically make everyone kind, sober, and fully dressed? Kind, sober, and fully dressed. Good news, everyone. We found the name of Santiago's sex tape. I'm horrible at this. When can we stop? I'm horrible at this. When can I we stop? I know, I know. Title of my sex tape. Yeah, well done. Title of my sex tape. As long as we're clear that I'm with someone and nothing is going to happen. I'm with someone, nothing's going to happen. Name your sex tape. He's back. Yeek. Blast of cold air coming out of that box. Name of Amy's sex tape. Hey, man, come on. Not cool. I'm going through something. Just let me have this one. We broke a rule. Yeah. I hope it wasn't a mistake. Hope it wasn't a mistake. Title of your sex tape. <gasps> Title of our sex tape. Ben, come meet Jerry's wife. Gail. Happy holidays, Chris. It's so good to see you. I have someone I'd like you to meet. I'm Gail Gergich. Gail, you're Gail. Jerry's beautiful wife, who looks like that. Gail, I, I hope you're not in any way uncomfortable that I'm here since I dated your daughter. Oh, not at all. You're welcome here at any time. So Gail and Jerry, I thought about it a lot. There's no logical explanation. It is so wonderful to be part of such a special day. Okay, remember, under no circumstances can Leslie know about what's going on. She has to make that face. Do you understand? Well, I don't fully, but my lips are sealed. I asked for Larry's help because he has the most successful marriage of anyone I know to a gorgeous woman, which honestly is still a mystery to me. Like, was it a hypnosis accident or something where they put Gail under and made her fall in love with Larry and never said the magic word to snap her out of it? Like, if I say nutmeg, will she wake up and start screaming? Wait, while you were at Jerry's, did you happen to get any information about his history with Gail? Like, was she a Russian spy and the KGB forced her to marry Jerry as a cover? You know, it's a mystery, Ben. Let it go. Yeah, I can't. It keeps me awake at night. Hey, maybe Gail has one of those Oliver Sacks brain disorder thingies. Like, does she think Jerry is a friendly hat? I think you solved it. You are still the most handsome man in the world to me. Ugh, Mom, come on. Yeah, geez, Mom, we're eating. <laughs> no, it doesn't make any sense. Brit, I uh, want somebody to be here on Saturday, and so we're going to have to have a couple people come in on the weekends, and I know nobody's going to want to do it, and everybody's going to complain and bitch, and I don't want to have to deal with it. And that's why you have an assistant regional manager. Yes, it is. Assistant to the regional manager. Same thing. No, it's not. It's lower. So it's close. Michael! Oh, God! I, Dwight, come on! I wanted to talk to you about the downsizing. There's no downsizing. I, but if there were, I'd be protected as assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager, Dwight. Yeah. So I don't have to worry. I am now senpai, which is assistant sensei. Assistant to the sensei? That's pretty cool. Assistant sensei. By two o'clock, Dwight will choose himself to be assistant to his own assistant, me. Never been arrested before. I mean, I was detained once by Taylor Swift's security team, but that was a misunderstanding. She's probably gonna write a song about me. Point is, haters gone hate, shake it off, Taylor Swift always right. I'm telling you, this machine is broken. Ask me a question. Is Jay-Z really your favorite artist? Yes, obviously. Lie. <laughs> See, it's busted. Is it? Or is your favorite artist really Taylor Swift? <laughs> No. Lie. All right, fine. She is. She makes me feel things. She makes all of us feel things! 
This binder tells the story of a sloppy, disorganized, irresponsible individual who's not allowed within 500 feet of Taylor Swift. That was a misunderstanding. And you beautiful tropical fish. Oh, and you beautiful, naive, sophisticated newborn baby. What? Oh, and you beautiful, rule-breaking moth. And you rainbow-infused space unicorn. <laughs> and you beautiful, sassy mannequin come to life. And you opalescent tree shark. Leslie, you are the master of the metaphor. Oh. I recently compared her to a nutrient-rich chia seed. I decided to give baby Halpert a newspaper from the day she was born. This frame set me back 55 bones. But she decided to take her sweet time, so now I have to switch it with today's paper. Indian guys always wear their cell phones outside their pants. It's so dorky. No, no, no. That's not dorky. Look, it's easily accessible. Boom, like this. 911, hello. Scranton Strangler's in the house. Inside the house. They caught the Scranton Strangler. They trapped him in his house. Coming to you from the corner of Columbia, Columbia Street in Washington, Washington Ave. God, when is he gonna come out? So what we all pray is the last bet he's wishing he had a hybrid, right? 60 miles to the gallon in the city. No, I bet he's wishing he was strangling someone. Okay, that's our street. That's our street. He's going down our street. Come on! Okay, everybody. Go, 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 go. There it is! There it is! I saw it! Where? Where? I saw it! It's Where? gone! He went right by. He oh. missed it. He missed it. What's the case, Toby? Well, I really can't talk about it, but it's a very high profile case. Is it criminal? Yes. Have we heard of it? I don't know. Is it the middle school teacher who tried to turn her foreign exchange student into a sex slave? Come on. Was it the post office guy who rubbed his penis all over the mail? Guys, it's a really big deal. He's rubbing his neck. He's rubbing his neck. He's rubbing his neck. He's rubbing his neck. Oh, Scranton Strangler! Oh, oh no I, way. I can neither confirm nor deny this. Let's just say I'll be up to my neck in jury duty. Oh. This is the prison. Uh, I am not going in there with expectations, per se. Um, I will meet George Howard Scubb. I will tell him that I believe he is innocent. I would understand if he felt motivated to hug me. I would understand if a friendship began. How did, how did Bogart put it? I think this is the start of my first friendship. Well, the good news is no more guilty conscience. At least you know he is the strangler. The proof is in the grip. Did they say when the vocal cords would heal? One week? Okay. Two weeks? Okay. And what's in the safe? The 21 million. Bing pot! Nope, I was gonna say bingo, but then I was like, jackpot's better, but then it was too late. I was halfway through the word. Bing pot works. It's taken off. It's taken off. Yeah. It's blood film. Come on, go, go, go! Take it down, flat on the ground. Take it. I'm here, I'm here. Break left, break right. Oh, Santiago, I... Never mind. What is it? What? I gotta go. Oh. Bing pot. A uh, bing pot. Bing pot. A footprint. You did it, you brilliant bimbo. Pawnee's library department is the most diabolical, ruthless bunch of bureaucrats I've ever seen. They're like a biker gang. But instead of shotguns and crystal meth, they use political savvy and shushing. Newsflash, we're screwed. We got a big problem with the library. Punk ass book jockeys. Wait, why do we hate the library? The library is the worst group of people ever assembled in history. They're mean, conniving, rude, and extremely well read, which makes them very dangerous. Are you even listening to yourself? You're defending the library now, Ron? The library, of all the horrifying, miserable things in the world. Some people like libraries. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. Some people like libraries. Ron, she's in your head. Everything's fine. We're just gonna chat. Shouldn't you be at the library forcing people to borrow books? I don't want him within 500 feet of the library. That's good advice for all of us. Nothing but trouble there. Hi, Marcy. Leslie! Are they finally teaching you parks people how to read? <laughs> oh, I guess not. It's a movie. You're pretty cocky for someone whose job is obsolete because of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm, you seem to have a $40 late fee on a book called Mysteries of the Female Orgasm. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. And grab the movie. Go!